I talked so much crap about this figure. In today's video, we're gonna see if it could win me over. Not only are we gonna be doing the review, we're gonna be doing some really cool head swaps and part swaps and see like what kind of cool combinations we're gonna be coming up with. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for today's video. It's not just a review. After talking so much crap about this figure, I finally picked it up because I got a chance to get it for free. And I will tell you guys in this video how you can get one for free. And I'm just really excited to be opening up a new Dragon Ball figure. We're gonna start getting all the pre-orders in. I just did Dr. Jero if you guys wanna go on the channel and check that one out. And also stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna be opening up up a Dragon Ball Super card pack. Originally, like I said, I wasn't going to get this figure and I wasn't like, I don't know if I needed a really big bulky Goku, the Namek Saga and the Frieza Saga. Like I, they're, they're cool, but they're not my favorite. I didn't know if I was gonna do a display and I wound up buying the Frieza. So I'm gonna be doing a review of all those figures. So don't worry. Here we go right out of the box. A really nice tray shot looking pretty thick. What? And we do get some energy effects. So that's good. Now. I did get this figure for free, uh, but he was $80. So we're, we're looking at $80 for this figure and I will judge him accordingly. You guys let me know where you bought this, what your figure and how much did you pay? Because it seems like everybody's prices are all over the damn place with these figure arts sometimes. Let's take a look at this figure. I wanna give some first impressions. Uh, I have to say, I agree. Now, I did a video of how people were complaining that the chest piece was a different color than the arms. I do see now in person, you cannot tell. That is one big beef I had with it online. Uh, I was really just addressing, you know, my my uh, shorts and reels, I'm really just, I'm really just trolling. I'm just kind of having fun. So uh, if you are a fan of the channel, never take those too seriously. Have fun with them. Uh, but if you're not a fan of the channel, I'm 100% serious. Argue with me in the comments because it helps the algorithm. I gotta say, I am already, I, I am already getting turned around on this figure. I know a lot of you, a lot of my Goose Gang members, my channel members, you were telling me, no, buy him. He's a good figure and he feels good. He feels good already. I'm not getting that cheap plastic feeling that a lot of the other figures have, like the Dr. Jero. Watch that video. I was not too pleased with that figure. Okay, wow. So right off the bat, it, he's very smooth to pose. And I saw some people on Instagram being like, he's the figure of the year. And I, oh man, like I can't, he's very smooth. He, he's very like easy to pose and, and wow. I am, I'm actually very surprised right now. Um, nothing's too loose either. He's work, he's very smooth, he's working very good. And damn, okay, so let's let's just go over the, uh, let's run over the articulation very quick. He has a really nice range of motion, really nice. Uh, butterfly joints, you can get pretty crazy with those butterfly joints. Ab crunch, now uh, I did see <clears throat> someone shaved these little fangs on his stomach his ab muscles, he rounded them out and it looks so much better and he, you get more articulation with that and it looks more natural. So I think I am going to be doing that as well. There, there's just these two little fangs, you just shave them down with like a nail file and it should be good because the skin, there's no paint on the chest. So you should be good there. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing that as well. You'll get just a better range of motion. And you could even do it on the back, but the back doesn't bother me too much. I think it looks, the back fangs look pretty good. Now, uh, leg articulation, crazy, crazy. Look at that, boom. Knee articulation, boom. Toe articulation, ankle, uh, really, really. If this is a sign of the figures to come, I'm actually glad I bought the Frieza now. I, I'm glad I picked that freeze up because I will have to be doing uh, a Namek display. I'll have to do a little Namek diorama. Maybe I'll do a video of it. Let's address some of the problems that I was worried about. So people were saying like his neck is too low and I'm seeing that, but it works here for some reason. He just has that like thick muscle neck and I'm, I'm actually all for that. 
Um, I saw one guy actually raised the peg and the head sat up a little bit higher. Uh, he's supposed to be all beefed up. So I think it for the one time I'm actually saying I agree with this. I think the no neck uh, actually helps his uh, his beefiness because his chest is just <laughs> picture. He's just like blown up and uh, that that would make sense. Your neck wouldn't grow if your muscles just got bigger. So um I'm really liking this guy and I know some people have like two I might get another one of these because we are gonna do some head swaps at the end of the video and I want to show you something I've been wanting to try and I think it's gonna work perfectly so um, oh, okay there you go and his head does pop off very easy so that'll help what we're gonna be doing at the end of today's video uh, like I said in the beginning of the video I got this figure for free all because you guys signed up to Macari. Macari is a selling app. You guys signed up to Macari using my code. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was, maybe hopefully soon. But you guys signing up to Macari, we both get up to $50 in credit. So like you get like $10 when you sign up, you get $20 when you make your first sale, $20 when you make your first purchase, something like that. All the It's all in the description. I've gotten so many figures from the channel that I review because of you guys. So I really thank you all. Sign up. And not only it's a great place to buy figures, I buy so many figures from there. And I also sell on there. You could go check out my page. It's down below. Go, go check it out. If you ever want to buy anything, DM me first. Tell me you're a fan of the channel and I'll give you the best hookup I could give you. I've been getting so many of these figures for free or for credit because you guys are signing up. So I, again, I just wanted to thank you all. Oh wow, we have different face plates for the hair pieces too, what? Oh man, I didn't even know this, hold on. Oh my gosh. So we have a uh, angry face, and, uh, we have gritting teeth angry face. We have a smirking face. I love when Goku smirks, you know, you are in trouble when Goku starts smiling during a fight. I love that. And then the last head we have is the screaming face, which I think the screaming face will go much better on this other head. So let's pop off this. Head pops off very nicely. So, wow. This is menacing and scary. He has this blasting screaming face <coughs> with the hair shooting up. Uh, wow, that is crazy. So I've been saying this for Luffy, the Luffy figure arts figure. I want a hair sticking up because if you're watching the anime, he's always running and his hair gets pushed back and he kind of has like a spiky looking hair a lot in a lot of scenes. So I would actually, if there's a customizer out there watching this or something, make the Luffy hair sticking up just like this to show like that the the wind is pushing his hair back. This figure is as bonkers as this, this hair piece. This is nuts normal amount of hands we have all the the hands that you've seen before nothing crazy that we need to go over bandai continue doing this if you're going to give us energy effects which you should every figure should come with energy effects i that's not a controversial statement these are energy blast kai users give us energy blasts i love the little pegs in the energy blasts keep that going so this is just like look how cool that looks uh, I like when their arms get broken, you know, like when like Vegeta's always like, oh, I can't use my arm and I feel like I will have a lot of fun with this figure. I think I'm going to be buying another one. I think I'm, I'm just going to spoil the ending of this video. I think I'm going to be buying another one. The review is the review, but let's get to what I was excited for. We're going to be doing some part swaps. So first up, we have the 3.0 Martialist Forever. This is the new 3.0 uh, bootleg body. It's our third party. Um, where, of, the, of the Goku. I did a review of this on the, the channel. You should own multiple of this. This is a really good Goku figure. And um, we're going to be popping the head off and swapping them because people said it's the same exact mold. And I'm hoping... Let's see. Oh, no effing way, dude. No effing way. It looks... It, first of all, it pops on perfectly... And boy, wow, guys, it's perfect. It literally snaps right on and you can get, wow, look at that. Do I have to buy two more of both? Wow, okay, so that looks great. And then now 
this body should be able to take the Super Saiyan head. So we're going to pop, let's pop the Super Saiyan head on this. So for some reason, it's a little loose. So it should, it really should just pop right on, but ah, oh, it's a little loose, but you could fudge it for pictures. So, wow, that looks, that looks really good. Yeah, I, I, and people were saying his head was too big. And it's like, no, the head is perfect size, actually. Damn. Wow, look at that, guys. Okay, that looks great. That looks great. Let's see how they compare to these. And, and they really can't. We have some uh, 1.0 one, 1 or 2.0 bodies. It's just hard to compete now. Look at this. You cannot compete. And, and this was the original shirtless bootleg that we have from the... Uh, what was that? That was from that toys. What brand was that? Uh, this is from the black hole toys. And I was so like, this is my favorite, like so high on that body and everything. And it's like, boom, boom. This is it guys. hundred percent buy this figure. I should have bought more. I, I can't believe that how good both of the figures are. Don't go anywhere. We're going to open up a pack of Dragon Ball super cards. But before we do, I have this full box. I love the Cell Saga. I've never actually opened up a box of cards ever, or you know, on camera, I mean, uh, a, bo a whole bo booster. I was thinking, should I do a live stream where I open these up? Who would be down for that if I did it like a live stream where I opened up this entire box? Yeah, let me know in the comment section if that's something you'd be into because I think that would be a fun live stream, just hanging out, opening up all those packs. Um, but we got a pack right here. Let's open. I haven't opened up a pack in a long time, so I'm I'm pretty excited. Let's do it. Now I don't know who those things, those devil things are. Videl, I know her. Curran, right? Kieran, Curran, Kieran, the cat. Super Saiyan, Goku. That looks like the figure we just made. Um, I don't know who that guy is. Yamcha. Nappa with hair. I think that's so crazy that they gave Nappa hair. Super Saiyan 4. We got Baby. Deborah. Okay. Gravy. And all right. We got a secret rare. Thanks for watching, guys. Shout out to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would suck a lot more. So if you want to become a channel member, link down below. It's got a lot of perks. We do now after my live streams. We do after party live streams for channel members only. And plus there's all movie reviews, vlogs. I post all kinds of stuff up on the channel member page that you don't get on the main page. So shout out to you guys. And I will see you all in the next video. I gotta go. I gotta go now. I, I filmed like five videos. Bye.